What's happening, guys? Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest here. Uh, sorry for the uh, delay in doing September's uh, recap. Um, just been busy with Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving last weekend and, and picking, actually, and selling. Um, bit of a recap for uh, September. September was okay. It was uh, off and on. Um, you know, I'm really learning uh, to ramp up inventory on pay periods. Uh, some people get... Uh, uh, paid on the 15th and the 30th or the 15th and the end of the month. Uh, some people get paid every two weeks and then you get people in the retail sector where some of them get paid weekly um, or in whatever industry they're in. So I'm learning to follow that pattern and list my items. And if you take a look at um, when things are sold, it's pretty much when people get paid. Uh, so the old saying is people live pay paycheck by paycheck. There is a ton of people that do that in, in, in the world. Or over here in North America. Anyway, guys, um, two stores. I don't. I, I don't have the numbers on my wife's store, but I can tell you my store did uh, around three thousand dollars Canadian last month. Uh, could be a little more. I have to double check. Uh, just doing the tallying it up a minute ago. Um, so not bad. We're still like I'm in the three to four to five grand depending on the month. My goal is to hit five k per store. Um, you know, by the holiday season, which is around the corner. Um, uh, so uh, that, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, really trying to revamp now and pick, pick, pick as much as I can um, just to have inventory. And, and that is the big chore now is keeping inventory levels to where they are with good stock, you know. And I'll show you today. There's some stuff that I bought a while ago that is sell, it's, it's selling now or starting to sell. So it's really weird what's going on. So anyways, guys, let's do a quick recap. Um, I found this in the section uh, at Value Village where all the good stuff is behind the cabinets. It was sitting up top. Um, had a price tag of $29.99 and it was brand new. Breville or Breville Juice Fountain Crush. Uh, you guys saw a video. I, this was one of my picks of the week. Um, I think it was $29 or $39. I'm, I'm second guessing myself here. Anyways, I sold it pretty fast. Look, I sold it for $159.99 plus shipping. Now here's the model number if you find it, BJS600XL. Um, this was brand new um, in the box, uh, never been used. Uh, the customer actually just got it the other day and they're extremely happy of, of the condition. So be on a lookout for those juicers guys, especially the higher end ones. If you can find them sealed, uh, you can make all kinds. I think, this is a 2000 and a 10 or 11 model. The newer model, same type of features, sells for over 200 bucks. So the person did get a deal. Um, this was a good score. Um, I don't know if I focus, featured this on pick of the week. Uh, Value Village, I paid $9 for this. Uh, when I came home and, and I investigated uh, what it was worth, I couldn't believe it. Take a look at this, guys. This is a vintage Michael Jordan jersey from the 90s, made by Champion. Um, you know it's the uh, authentic it is with the pinstripes and the labels and that interior white background it has. It had no rips, no tears. I, sa I said, I think I paid $9.99 for it. Look what I sold it for, $139.99. You're talking margin right there, buddy. Guys, nice, vintage number 23, uh, size 48. Now, usually the bigger the size on those items, the, the better they sell. Um, small doesn't really sell a lot. I uh, bought this thing a while back. This was in Guelph. Um, I was testing the pattern market. I bought, I don't know how many bags for 10 bucks. Um, this was in there. I thought I, I thought I would throw it on with the holiday season coming up. Uh, I think I paid $8 for all the patterns. Anyways, uh, here it is. Butterick. 6816 it is Mrs. Claus like what I sold it for unbelievable somebody would pay $30 and this thing was brand new uncut that's the one thing you gotta look for with patterns make sure they've never been cut hard to sell if they've been cut these pieces you're usually missing um, these I'm starting to buy I think I showed you the PSX last month Sells great. I got just sold another one the other day. I found this Yari Love Get Ripped. It's a four-pack DVD. 
I believe all the discs were sealed except one. Uh, I think I paid a dollar for it. Look what I got for it. $29.99. Man, if I could find a pile of these, they would sell all day long. You find these in the DVD section or video section. People buy them, use them once, and you know, give up. Um, here we go. Seymour Duncan. 59. This is a pickup for a guitar. Picked it up at Value Village. No, actually, Salvation Army Burlington. Picked it up for 12 bucks. Um, these go for anywhere brand new, up for 149. Seven. I. I don't know. Over 100 bucks, let's say. I picked it up. It was pre-owned. I sold it pretty much instantly for 69.99. So sold it to a guy in Ottawa. Uh, got there, no problem. We're very happy. Okay, you guys saw this. This was from our Pennsylvania trip. Um, you go back, you'll see what I... I don't remember I paid for it. Ten bucks, maybe. Anyways, I'm guessing. Um, this was illuminators. These were quartz halogen fog driving lamps that had louvers on them. And what happened when, when the lights would turn on and heat up, the louvers would open up. It was a new old vintage stock. Look what I sold it for, $129.99. Sold to a guy in uh, Florida. Um, he actually has a Nissan Z car. He's going to send me a video with them on. He was very happy uh, finding these and buying them from me. It's kind of like it's kind of nice when you get somebody that's excited about uh, a product they've been looking for for a while, especially something that's old new stock. Um, another one I lucked out on. Paid four bucks for this thing. Um, I always now look for these weird HP things since I scored large on that scanner. Found this in Guelph, Value Village, sitting in the office section, or the office supply section. It is an HP CB017A. It's a two-sided uh, duplex accessory for this printer, okay? Brand new sealed. Look what I sold it for, $100. All right? It was like instant. Sold it for 100 bucks. Went, I think, I think brand new there. I don't know, 150 to 200. Um, I didn't have the box for it, but it didn't matter. It was still sealed. Salvation Army pickup again. Um, picked it up in uh, Burlington in the cabinet. Again, in the cabinet area. Don't be afraid to look in the cabinets, guys, and ask if you can get a discount. These were $39.99. She gave them to for $29.99. Uh, excellent condition, pre owned. Harley Davidson uh, men's Darien motorcycle boots. They were size 9.5. I think I got, I had a $10 coupon, so I got them for $29.99, okay? Look, I sold them for $89.99 to a guy in California. Very, very nice boots, guys. No rips, tears. Um, anything Harley Davidson, if it's in great shape, sells very well, guys. Pick, <laughs> I picked this up for two bucks. I can't remember where. Um, Toronto Raptors hoodie. It was one of the rare ones. It's, it's the actual basketball with the claws on it print. Very good condition. Uh, it was owned, it was pre-owned, but um, like I said, I paid nothing for it. Sold it for $39.99. Uh, zippers all worked. It was large in size, men's large, I believe. But again, you know, this is, this is I'm starting to do clothes, but I'm doing this type of clothing. Uh, a little more of that. And it's, it's working out for me. Okay. Um... I don't know if you guys remember this. I bought this. It's a video. Whoa, way back. Video. And I... Um, it's the video that I had the pimp shoes that had the fish inside with the water. I don't know if you remember that, guys. Um, this was a commercial blender. I had it up, down, all kinds of prices. I had people... Uh, looking at it, I had offers on it, and I just put it back on, f and, and it sold it the next day. It's just, I guess it's luck, you know, somebody is looking for something like this. This was what it is. It's a commercial. It's called the Vita, Vita Mixer Maxi 4000 Commercial Blender Stainless Steel. It worked 100%. It was in great, great condition. Um, I don't know if this is 80s. Uh, more, it's more of a bar item. Uh, look what I pay. Uh, look what I, I sold it for. $79.99. I'm trying to remember what I sold it for. Maybe 10, 10 bucks. I, I don't know. But anyways, those are some of the highlights uh, in September. Um, it was a decent month. It was a good month. You know, I, I'm happy uh, on what items sold for. 
again, every month picking things a little bit differently. A lot of new, a lot of vintage electronics you will see in, in October's recap. Um, uh, you know, things are picking up. Uh, my wife's store, especially now, um, Milltown Collectibles, uh, what, she's, what she sells, people are starting to buy for Christmas and the holidays. It's really interesting uh, to see how things uh, like that are flipping quite, quite fast. Anyways, guys, um, we'll continue to do the pick of the week. Um, I'm going to try to bring the camera into this new store in Burlington. I've been mentioning I will, but I'm going to try to do it on Sunday. I think we're going to go out there and take a look at what they have. Uh, if you like the video, guys, give it the big thumbs up. Please subscribe, share with your friends. Any comments below on what you'd like to see or what you'd like to see me, me, me pick in Canada. Um, I know um, people are still acting about shipping in Canada. It's a mixed bag right now. Um, I know Canada Post, and I think I mentioned it in my other video, every Tuesday in the month of October, you get one free shipment in Canada. I've done it the past two Tuesdays. It seemed to work out okay, no issues. Um, Canada Post is still dinging me for underpaid postage on certain items. No big deal. I get an odd one or two a month. Uh, it's no big deal. Anyway, guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Have a great night, great day, great afternoon, wherever you are. Continue watching, guys. Um, I'm glad uh, I'm helping some people out there uh, make some money on the side like I am. Again, remember, this is a part-time gig for me. Uh, this is extra money for my family, and it's truly amazing how much you can make uh, putting a little bit of effort into it and hustling. Like Pete from Craigslist Hunter says, Hustle harder, man, and you'll make money, and it's true, 100%. Anyways, guys, have a great night. Talk to you later.